you should have some answers because if you don't ans have any answers, who should? The business, but Thank I you absolutely very much. managed see how, good, see how simple that is? I ask a question. You don't need to. Is recognized for five minutes. Thank you. Um, and thank you, Mr. Chairman, for the opportunity to wave on to the subcommittee for this very important hearing. Um, Administrator Lumen, I want to focus on the Department of Labor's new independent contractor rule. But before I get there, I, I have a couple questions because I want to set the bar right. You are in charge of the Wage and Hour Division, correct? Uh, correct. Uh, <laughs> Wonderful. Good, good, good. We're off to a good start. <laughs> um, have you ever been a business owner? Congresswoman McLean, um, uh, the I it's have super simple. I, I've had the opportunity to run organizations and okay. lead right. higher let me, let me, fire, start, manage budgets. All of those this will things. go a lot faster, right? It's really not a trick question. Have you ever been a business owner, uh, Congresswoman McLean? I have never owned a business, but Thank I have you absolutely very much. managed see businesses. See how simple that is. I ask a question. You don't need to ruffle around. You just give me an answer to the question I have. It's, re it's really simple, right? And things will go a lot faster. Because as the person in charge, don't you think you should have some answers? Because if you don't ans have any answers, who should? Right? You're the boss. And I love it when we have all these people come in to testify. They're in charge. I mean, they write a 300-page rule. But yet when we ask them a simple question, they can't answer it. That's pretty disturbing to me. Like, if you're in charge, you're in charge. I don't think it's too much to ask that the person in charge be able to answer a simple question. So we could just have some simple ground rules, and I'm even all right with an I don't know, right? I don't expect you to know everything, but I do expect you to know something, right? So let's start with this. You're not a business owner, yet you're making laws for business owners. How many business owners did you consult before making this law? This law. So, Congressman McLean, we absolutely, specifically, as you're if, talking about the um, the independent contractor um, or employee classification under the Fair Labor Standards Act, just yep. to make sure we're talking about the same thing. We held um, listing sessions specifically for business owners and for sm 10, small 20, small 100, businesses. 100, 1,000, 1,500. Give me a gut feel. We held, I believe we held about 27, 30 uh, listening sessions. So I don't Let's want to tell you wrong. No, that's but. okay. No, no, I'm, I'm looking for directional answers. It's, it's honestly not a gotcha question. Because what I think the American taxpayer is frustrated with, the American people are frustrated with, and the business owners is we all are making laws for business owners, yet we don't listen to them. We don't take their opinion into consideration. And we make laws and we don't have any idea of the unintended consequences of what those laws will do to the actual people who have to, have to administer those laws. So about 30 listening sessions. And what did the actual business owners have to say? So uh, Congressman McLean, again, and I participated personally in a lot of these, so I do want to answer this question uh, very Wonderful. clearly, although we had lots of team members. And let's who get to the these. answer. So um, we heard a lot of, um, of feedback from business owners that they specifically wanted to make sure they understood what the responsibilities were under the Fair Labor Were they in favor Act. of it or against it? So as we were listening oh to my them, heavenly we were, days. La Never they, mind, we were, we're not going there. The, let's, the get up, let's go on to another question that we can answer, right? And I'm going to share with the American people, if you get somebody who's in charge, especially in a government entity that can't answer a question, you should ask yourself, do we need to replace this person who can't answer a simple question? I mean, my goodness gracious, the disappointment that I have that you can't even answer a simple question is unbelievable. Yet you want to be in charge and you want to tell the very people who you have no clue about their business what they can and can't do. That to me is repulsive. But anyways, enough of my opinions. Why is the DOL focused on crushing the economic opportunities for a sector that employs 64 million people and get this, nearly $1.3 trillion to the U.S. economy? Do you believe in entrepreneurship? Wonderful. Then why, how does this law incentivize entrepreneurship? 
So this regulation specifically protects workers who are in business for themselves and particularly by making it more difficult for them to do business? How, how does that correlate? So this regulation specifically identifies for purposes of I would disagree, the, the truckers Act. would disagree, the independent contractors would, you know, the people that actually do the job, other than you that sit up there, have no answers to any questions, but want to pontificate on what you think is in the best interest of a sector that provides jobs for 64 million people and contributes $1.3 million to the, uh, to the economy. Critical. I'm sorry, um, Mr. Kiley, I am out of time and I yield back. We held um, listening sessions specifically for business. But before I get there, I, I have a couple questions because I want to set the bar right. They're in charge. I mean, they write a 300 page rule, but yeah, ruffle around. You just give me an answer to the question I have. It's, re it's really simple, right? You should have some answers because if you don't have any answers, who should?